I'm back at the junkyard where I picked up Rosie. I'm really excited. I haven't been back since. And it's not that crowded today, which is good. We didn't even look around the last time we were here, huh? I'm not really a Honda person. Love them, not nothing against them. I'm just more of a Toyota girl. But this is probably the only Honda I'd consider buying, aside from maybe an S2K. Uh, what a shame that it's here because the body looks like it was in good shape. Let's look at the inside. Ooh, wow, what a shame. The door panels look good. The seats look good. Uh -huh. Wonder how it ended up here. Center caps. And there's that too. Look how little it is. It's pushed in between these two cars. What are we getting from here? The knuckle? The whole the, right front suspension. The whole right. Okay. I thought we were just getting the knuckle. Well, Apparently like we're getting the front. <laughs> we're just trying to figure out how. Um, not a lot of room here. Wow, these seats are nice. I don't even. I don't think they're original to your no, seats. They don't look original. They were probably like modded. Yeah. Because look, like they're so plush. and They're so plush. And they're like airplane seats. Yeah, unless, like, you know what, unless these were offered with a dually package. True. What you got, Senor? What you got? I think you've got this thing, Senor. Oh, I'd like to have a tour. Hola. 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 I said this before, but I feel like the junkyard is the best place to learn because you can literally just start taking stuff apart. Obviously, you don't want to break it, but you can start taking stuff apart and figure out how things work, and you don't have to, I feel like, be afraid as much. That's how I learned. I would come out here and I would take window regulators off, uh, door panels, just I would just take whatever I could off just to learn and teach myself. So I really love coming to a junkyard. You can come with a friend and you can literally just look at stuff and ask them what things are called because it gives you a better visual on things because they're already outside of the car. Yes, personally, why I like coming because I feel like there's a lot of parts that unless they're outside of the car, I would never see them. And also on different kind of cars that I never work on, I don't know what certain parts look like um the suspension is different whether it's like american car european car everything's different right so i know the basics but that's why i, I enjoy coming here because i feel like i could see things and be like oh cool what is that oh i've never seen that oh, i didn't know it looked like that or it was shaped like that so i really enjoy coming to a drink yard it's one of my favorite places to come even if i don't buy anything i feel like every time i come i learn something new how are you supposed to get what if i needed an interior part from that car how am i supposed to <laughs> supposed to climb in there or i don't know oh, they're pretty cool though they, they have a forklift though yeah they have out. a forklift they're going to come help us out they're sorted out by makes like all the japanese cars and all the european cars but all the american cars but they're kind of just scattered everywhere so we have to um go through everything but it's cool because on their website i feel like they tell you what they have so that's how we knew this truck was here check out these welds D diy Whoa! They're just being held I don't know there. if those are considered welds. Maybe blobs? Splatter marks? <laughs> Like who made this design? I need, I need the spacers that go in the fuel rail. So I'm trying to remove this, which is an Allen. There's no space to remove the Allen. And then I was trying to remove this injector holder thing housing, and I can't remove that because I can't stick a screwdriver here. I would have to literally pull out manifold just to get to that spacer. They're only three dollars on like eBay, but I'm already here, and I really need them for my SR. And they're like in here but dang like i don't know maybe i should just pay the three dollars because i've been on this one spacer for like oh, 10 minutes already it's not coming but found some more
more spacers. All right, stick your hand in there. Nice. Oh. I can't even see anything. Huh. I can't even read. Here, I'll, I'll grab it for you. Yeah. You got it? Mm. Exactly what I didn't want. This car probably flipped over, right? Or was that someone's head that smashed the window? Ah. Uh, That's insane. The other side. These hoods are so expensive. They're for like 500 bucks, but this one I think is... Is it damaged? That Maybe is. not. Wait, where is it damaged from though? I mean, it has this, but... Oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, cut already. It's all aluminum. Because if this was not damaged, it would be the first thing that I take off. Found this cute Geo Metro convertible. I love these cars. These are actually, I've actually been wanting one of these. I think they're so cute. They're so little. I never see a convertible. It has a lot of bond though. Poor car. It's pretty beat up, but it does have some good drift spares. These tires are literally brand new. I could use these 175, 7013. Look at that. Those are good drift spares, brand new. Wow. Aw, oh, too bad it's here. Makes me sad. I could literally spend all day here. Love this. So much to see, so much to do, so many parts. You got the pins and everything. Let me look. Cracks. Here's the 22R from the Toyota pickup truck we were actually looking at. There's a man that showed up after and he said that he's the one that took it off. He said there was oil in the intake. And like, he didn't want to pay for it. So he didn't want to pay for it. He said they run about, what did he say, 250, right? 200 bucks, 250. Apparently it needs new valve seals, but he decided to just leave it. Good to know that it's here though. This is like the good stuff. Look, this takes everything off. I already cleaned them, but cleaning them again. Look how white they are. Look how white it leaves them. <laughs> Is this a thing in other cars, like in other places? Like, do you guys have these pumps like this? No, I've only seen them out here. Really? I wonder if they have them in other countries, in other places. Okay, okay, okay. gracias. 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 I had a good time at the junkyard. You pick parts here in Alameda. Come by. This junkyard is so underrated. They have so many cars. You guys need to, this, you guys are sleeping on this junkyard. This is where I bought Rosie. If you haven't checked that video out, I picked up my 1981 Toyota Corolla here for a really good deal. So thanks again to you pick parts. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh. They say fools believe in it.